Welcome back, everyone, to My Wife Explains the Girl World to Me and Dane. Today, we're starting with the queen, Amber Lynn Reed. We have Mary here, of course. We have Dane over there. If you notice, Dane is all bundled up because it's really cold where he is right now. Whew. Chilly, boy. But it's <laughs> summertime where we are. Oh, yeah. So nice. <laughs> oh, the feels. <laughs> all right. So we're starting off the, the last time. If you want to watch the previous video, I'll put this in the playlist. And we kind of got like a general overview of the girl world and all the all the characters uh, that we're going to cover involved. And so this time we're focusing on just one, Amberlynn Reed, who the queen of girl world before YouTube. The, the long, long ago and the, and the, the long, long before. She hadn't changed much. <laughs> Over the years, Amber has given her audience a lot of information about her life prior to YouTube. Her parents suffered from drug addiction and lost custody of Amber and her siblings when she was around 10 years old. She was placed in the foster care system and lived with multiple families. I believe she did get to live with her parents again at some point, but most of her childhood was in foster care and group homes. Amber has spoken in length about the ways she rebelled and self-soothed as a child, including drinking, smoking, stealing, and of course, eating. Uh, she claims that she reached 300 pounds by age 11. Oh, she sm Dang, she's smoking and drinking before age 11? Dang! <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> this is like one of the a Netflix special, real life of yeah, Amberly yeah, Reed. Like, she was hard. Yeah, she, she, she was out there with that dude in that video. I just want to do hood rat things with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Uh. Now, what a tough life, though, growing up. Yeah. No, nah, that is tough. Yeah, I, I think I remember seeing something. Uh, maybe it's like one of the videos we watched or maybe even you told me about it, but she would like she would hoard for like keep food and like tuck it away, put it in her pillow, whatever. And like, like it was a resource, like, Oh my God, I gotta get these things. So I don't, I don't know how the life was at the foster home, but it sounds not, not, not ideal at right. all. Dude, I remember my parents telling me when I, when I was, when I was little and I was just being like a, you know, a, one of them kids, you know, <laughs> and I was like, Hey, just take me away. And my dad was like, Oh yeah. Is that what you want? You want to go to the foster <laughs> care? Oh boy. You know, he was like, Oh, that's, that's not a good idea. And I, and I, you know, being a young kid at the time, I'm like me, but I want to play video games. You're not letting me. My life is ruined. <laughs> right. <laughs> at age 17, she moved in with her grandmother and started an online relationship with a 15 year old trans man named Casey. She went to visit Casey and his mother and whilst there revealed that she had actually been kicked out by her grandmother and wasn't allowed to return. During their relationship, Amber started another online relationship with a girl named Crystal. And in 2011, she packed up and moved directly into Crystal's family home with her parents. Dang. Wow. So that's the tragic backstory. That's the... The super villain. That is kind of how you make one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's how you make a super villain. That's the super villain backstory here. And now we got welcome to the internet. Hooray! We can get into to what we what what we see through the lens of her creativity and just what she chooses for us to see in her life, which is always a, a very important thing to keep in the back of your head whenever you're looking at internet personalities and things like that. It's like you only see what they want you to see and everything else, uh, especially like it seems like in the girl world is pieced together behind the scenes of like little things here and there that like sneak through or people see or, you know, oh, I they mention. Know. Oh, yeah. I personally, all of this stuff that I have said here. This is stuff that Amber has directly shown or said in videos. Like I have not been sneaking around in little forums with all of the conspiracy people. <laughs> I, because, like I said in the last video, I was truly a, fam, a fan of Amber. So I would take her word for things and then she would openly say, oh, I lied about that or um, that that didn't actually happen that way. I was, or she would just say that never happened. Like directly after she would say this happened, she would then turn around and say, that's not true, it didn't JK. happen. And she would have shown yeah. this stuff in videos. So I actually think that that's a pretty important thing to me to point out there, that this is not like hearsay or conspiracy. Sure, I might've gotten some stuff wrong because this is like over a decade's worth of content, but um, Everything that I've written here is truly like direct quotes and things that she has shown or said. And there's a lot of video evidence to back things up here. Well, okay. I was about to say that. I don't think you may as well care enough to like, you know, fact check you really, but I, got, I, would, be, I would be wrong. This, this is the internet. Well, <laughs> I think she's just trying to say like, 
He shouldn't have to sleuth very hard <laughs> <He's> <laughs> to just, find all this. this is there. Just stuff she just throws out there to the public. Oh, uh, hey, okay. Here's the, here's the thing, too. In the last people, people are like, people are like can Mary hear Dane? I have open back headphones so the, yeah. that she can hear Dane through the headphones. So, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so welcome to the internet. Amber Lynn's first video was titled Nervous Plus Awkward Plus Weight Loss Vlog. Posted on November 17, 2013, she was 22. In the video, she claimed her, uh, her channel was created with the goal of weight loss. She was 368 pounds. Dang. Wow. A long time ago. Dang. 2013. Yeah. This weight loss journey is. Bro, I'm like, I'm like creeping on that number, dude. Yeah, I gotta like do something. I'm like oh. creeping. <laughs> Every time we talk about this stuff, we start getting self reflective. Like, oh man, oh. I really need to do better. And then, it's like, hold on a minute. After we stop recording, we don't do better. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can relate to Amber. Oh. God, this period is commonly referred to as the Crystal Era. Her soft-spoken nature and vulnerability with her audience garnered a lot of support for early on. Her newfound audience rooted for her success <clears throat> and would often offer a lot of advice regarding a weight loss, dieting, and healthy living. That's the problem. That's what happened right there. That's why she fell through. All the unsolicited internet advice that nobody <laughs> wants. She was like, no! No, don't tell me how to live my life. Amber did not feel she needed any help or advice. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see there? Ever did not feel she needed any help or advice and informed her audience that the past she lost 89 pounds, and so she knows how to lose weight. The 89 pound became famous in the girl world, being referred to as many other girls on many occasions as Amber herself continues to bring it up again and again and again and again and again. Look, she's lost 89 pounds. She knows what's up. It may have been that time when Grandma <laughs> kicked her out of the house and she couldn't get no food, but, you know, right, she, lost, right, right. she lost that weight. Where she was young and the metabolism was still working. <laughs> <laughs> it was made clear by both Crystal and Amber that Crystal did not want to be featured in her content. There are many instances where Amber stated Crystal doesn't want to be on camera before she filmed her anyway. She deliberately tried to humiliate or prank Crystal, who would respond unenthusiastically. Continuous scenes of disrespect towards her partners is a common theme throughout all of Amber's relationships. <laughs> Okay. The door doesn't lock in here, so I was trying to trick her. Oh, no. That's a peeve of mine, a pet peeve. A pet peeve. <laughs> Dude, when, I, when I'm on a toilet, bro, I just need me. Just me. Lock the doors. I don't want to be bothered. I just want to, yo, here do my business. I just want to do my business and go, you know? But with that, that super villain backstory, I, I'm not surprised that she might be a little toxic. Right. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. I, th I think it's really, truly undeniable that Amber has had a very difficult upbringing. She did not have a supportive family structure. She wouldn't have even had a supportive friendship group because of the, the moving around constantly. And as a result, I really don't think she knows how to live in like a healthy family dynamic. And that's been evident throughout all of her relationships. She's up until... Right now, she had never, never lived alone. She had gone from group homes with her grandma into Casey's home, then into Crystal's home. And it's always been an issue that she has spoken about, like her not really knowing how to correctly be part of a family or a community group. Yeah, well, what I was going to say about like uh, the, the whole like, oh, but my past and all these terrible things that happened to me is kind of just part of growing as a person is that if mm -hmm. you if you recognize it, then you kind of got to make adjustments and... You know, it's an explanation, not an excuse. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. There you go. Explanation, not excuse. I like that. Well, Crystal's and Amber's relationship lasts from 2011 to April 2015. Crystal ended the relationship, and Amber weighed 385 pounds. Dun dun dun. It's over with. No more toilet shots. <laughs> then we move on to the one that got away. While still living with Crystal, Amber began a new online relationship with a woman named Destiny. Oh my gosh, still living with her? Well, I guess she's got she's, every time. Every single time? Every single time Amber begins a relationship, she is still living with and usually sleeping in the same bed with the previous partner. And she has shared that each time with the audience. She'll say, yeah, I just don't like sleeping alone. So I'm still forcing my partner to sleep in the same bed with me, even when they say on camera that they don't want to <laughs> until her new girlfriend yes. either picks her up or moves in. Wow. You know, you got, you got to line up that new that new spot to live. You know, you got to you got to. Gotta have it ready to go. Wow. At the time, <laughs> Destiny was engaged to another woman, and there was an overlapping period in which Destiny was dating both women before ending her engagement. Amber then moved from Crystal's home to Destiny's home in Florida. Oh my goodness, the drama. In the summer of 2015, Destiny's cat, Gracie, went missing. Amber had mentioned wanting to get a new kitten of her own and had shown funds she had saved to adopt one. Amber filmed Destiny while she was in distress over losing her cat, 
and seemed oddly comfortable with the whole ordeal. A lot of people speculate that Amber simply let Grace out, Gracie out, but this was never confirmed in the fact. And we're getting a new cat. Oh my God. Oh, wow. They then moved to Kentucky together in 2016. Amber weighed 450 pounds. God dang. All right, yeah, she shot up during this one year. Amber took in a dog named Twinkie, a normal-sized chihuahua, from one of Destiny's family members. She also obtained two kittens during this time, Wasabi and Rarity. Later in 2016, Amber Lynn posted a video titled, In an abusive relationship, I was ard. Oh my goodness. In which she discussed her relationship with Casey. In the video, Amber referred to Casey as the name they were given at birth. And This is back to like her first relationship back in like, what, 2000? Yeah. yeah. A long time ago? Yeah. The one who lived with their grandmother? No, the one that she moved into after living with the grandmother. Yeah. Amber's controlling and manipulative behaviors are becoming more of an issue for Destiny, which she has recounted recently in live streams and videos. She began a secret relationship with a co-worker named Dana, officially ended her relationship with Amber Lynn in January of 2017, and was publicly dating Dana in February. Dana, uh, Amber weighed 480 pounds. So, oh, so so Destiny hit her with the old same thing that she hit her with, like, yeah. go find a new you girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What'd yeah, you, you get them how you lose yeah. them. Yeah, right, right. Wow. Beck's tragic years. Beck reached out to Amber online to offer emotional support after seeing her struggle on, struggles on YouTube. They said they weren't seeking relationship at the time, but Amber came to visit them for a weekend and simply never left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's a uh, very was it self destructive? Is that the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it so. sounds like or just destructive in general. Right. <laughs> She's like destroying these relationships and bouncing wherever. And it's such a short time frame, too. It's just like here to here to here to here to here. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I guess at like the time it's like it's over been over years. But at the same time, it's like big life changes over and over again. Yeah. But I guess it'd be like that when you don't have your own place and you have to live with your partner. <clears throat> oh, you keep breaking up with and cheating on and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> a lot of content was created with this large group of people. To my understanding, every one of these people have since cut all ties with Amber, <clears throat> the common denominator and all this. By 2018, Amber was reaching 500 pounds and truly and had truly built her current audience. More and more reaction channels were being created that had people recognizing and calling out negative behaviors. She was publicly broadcasting. It was that time that Amber publicly announced that she had binge eating disorder and created the idea of the binge monster who she would lose all control to. Mm. That old binge monster. Suddenly, the binge monster. The binge monster was something that Amber talked about really often. And she would, you know, post videos that showed things that she had binged on. Like she would collect all of the wrappers and say that this is everything I binged on. And she talked about how she would black out and like lose all control. And she really, um, she would get really, really angry. And then Beck had, you know, corroborated that and said that she would get really aggressive and you just had to do everything she said. And she, otherwise she would, you know, get really aggressive. Um, and then later on she said, oh no, I don't actually have binge eating disorder. I was misdiagnosed <laughs> and it's not true. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was just an excuse because I was hangry. <laughs> angry, baby. All right. 2019, Amber weighed 560 pounds. In February, Obese to Beast reached out to Amber and tried to help her reach her uh, healthy lifestyle goals. She was initially receptive, but eventually turned on him, claiming she knew more about health and fitness than he did. Obviously. Let me look. <laughs> she lost 89 pounds. She knows. Yeah. She knows a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> in April, Amber uploaded a large mukbang video in which she ate shrimp. During this video, she was incredibly condescending to her audience, telling them they weren't allowed to tell her what to do, and she didn't want or need anyone's help, uh, and they can shut up and watch her or leave. 10,000 people unsubscribed. This is later named Shrimpgate. <laughs> oh, Shrimpgate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow. But after she was like, oh no. <laughs> they did leave. Power Peace. of the people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shrimp Gate. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just from like the few clips that Mary showed us here and just reading through everything, I mean, it, it, it seems obviously like when you talk about how the that she shows what she wants you to see, that behind the, sheen, the scenes, she seems like a pretty nasty person, you know, just from what bleeds through and things like this. You can't tell me. I, I know how to lose weight. Don't tell me how to live my life. You can unsubscribe. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> In Vlogmas of 2019, uh, she made a claim that her dog, Twinkie, was crying and shaking in pain and could barely move. 
She then went out to eat at Chili's. Is this a Big Ed story? Is this the same thing that happened with Big Ed? Oh, my God. Yeah, close. Uh, when her audience questioned why she wouldn't take her to the vet, she claimed there wasn't one. There just wasn't a vet. Because Amber had previously told her audience where she lived, they were able to look up the Chili's and then found an emergency 24-hour vet within five minutes in that location. Oh, yeah. That's what I say. You have a, you got a, a Chili's, but you don't have a vet? Hmm. Right, <laughs> right, right. There's not a vet. Just chili right here. <laughs> just right down the road. No. Beck's mother, Norma. What an, I love the name Norma. It's just, was, oh, well, she was diagnosed with cancer. Dang it, Norma. And Amber set up a GoFundMe for her. Oh, is this, this is going where I think it's going. God, God dang it. All right. She encouraged her audience to click on and watch all the ads on her videos with the promise she was giving all the money to Norma. People are unsure as to what actually happened with the money. As voice messages were released after Norma's death by a family member revealing Amber as saying she was going she was going to send her money rather than her stating that she did. Yeah. I'm tired of not being appreciated when I try to help you the best that I can. And it's just frustrating. This whole this situation is Amber Lynn is super frustrating. talking to Becky's mom and I right after she had her surgery. Speak. I'm going to put it out there how the Amber Lynn really treated Becky's mom. They got, they got the receipts out here. I am not trying to argue with you. That is the last thing I want to do since you just got out of surgery. I am just tired of the added drama onto my YouTube. So far, <laughs> she, she doesn't want extra drama on her YouTube and she just wants to be appreciated. Speak on a situation that became about her when... Norma had just got out of surgery. Yeah, yeah hope- it's all about Amber. It's like, she just got out of surgery. It's like, but me. Not once have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you, for the video I made. Oh, there we go. The backlash I'm getting. Deal. There we go. There we go. She hasn't. She hasn't had a thank you for the money she was going to send. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not, well, you haven't sent anything yet. Like, where's my public appreciation? Where's my yeah, well, what about me? Jeez, what a what a class act that is. Hmm. She wanted a woman who was actively fighting cancer to be bowing at her feet and saying, "Thank you for making a GoFundMe for me." Like it was that that was a really hard moment for a lot of Amber's audience. But we're not surprised here, are we, Dane? We've seen enough of this no. stuff. <laughs> I've watched enough reality no. TV, and <laughs> sadly, do they ever get the GoFundMe uh. money? No one knows. No one knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. But I was going to give you guys money, but then you didn't worship the ground I walked on. So we don't know. So so I kept it and bought food. (laughs) So I ate the money. (laughs) In recent years, Amber has claimed that throughout most of 2019, she was bed bound, unable to shower, and had ongoing vaginal bleeding for months that she did not seek medical assistance for. I think I remember you telling me about this stuff, how like she had all these problems, but we'll just like not go to the doctor. Yeah. Same thing for her dog. The doctor doesn't exist. Only chilies. She did have ER trips for colds and other ailments, but did not mention the continuous bleeding. Yeah. That, that's, that's always like a, just begging for attention kind of yes. comments. Like, Oh, I have this thing that you can't really prove that I do or don't have. And everyone's like, why don't you just go to the doctor? And she's like, no, then didn't, right. didn't, didn't be real. She later blamed not getting help on Beck, stating they didn't care enough to force her to seek help. It's their, their fault. They didn't make me go to the hospital. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> I guess oh. she's serious. <laughs> Dude! What a joke. Yikes. Throughout the entire year, Beck was taking a lot of prescription medications, which they later revealed to have severely affected her memory. They spent the so they spent the year in a dazed, detached state. I remember you telling me about this too, like them just being like it was all filmed. Yeah, it was on the on the vlogs and stuff. Yeah, like Amber would have Beck drive her around and you could you could tell that Beck was really out of it. And she has since come forward in live streams and videos and said that she actually can't remember most of it. She can't remember her birthday party that she had in 2019. Uh, I mean, just what a absolutely horrible year for her. Her mom was so sick and she was um, on these medications. And I mean, I don't know if she was intentionally overusing or if they were just ill prescribed for her, but horrible. And at the same time, her her partner who she's living with but what about me yeah is you know <laughs> oh, no. speaking poorly to them about their own mother as she is fighting cancer and Ugh. she's being forced to like there's one where she's 
has to change the tire or something and Amber doesn't even get out of the car to offer emotional support. Like she's, it's, it's really sad. <laughs> that poor car jack is just working overtime. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yo, no, you are out of the car now, right now. <laughs> the negative effects of this relationship have been ongoing with, in terms of depression and anxiety and feelings of worthlessness. Are you and Becky doing okay as friends? Do you ever get sad about what happened between you and Becky? I feel like our friendship lately isn't as strong as it was in the beginning. I don't know why. I'm, I'm personally trying to figure it out because, like... Jesus Christ! I just wish she would just say anything. <laughs> I, that's that's her sped up, bro. That's her sped up. Well, you know, I feel. <laughs> All right, let me. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, in 2020, Amber told her audience that she had uterine. Yeah, uterine. There's uterine? I almost I just wanted red urine. All right. <clears throat> in 2020, Amber told her audience that she had uterine cancer, which was treated with a full hysterectomy. She chose to share very little of her cancer journey online, which for the most part, her audience respected. Suspicious right after um, Norma, but yeah, okay. While Beck picked out her mother's gravestone, Amber sat in her car and filmed TikToks about lesbian porn. She filmed, all, <laughs> she filmed this all and posted on her YouTube channel and TikTok account. Yeah. I just really wanted to make it clear that that's not speculation. That's, the, that's She the, filmed <laughs> Beck picking out the gravestone with their friend. Amber sat in the car. She didn't even get out of the car to offer emotional support. Filmed Beck with their siblings picking out their mother's gravestone and also filmed TikTok saying, isn't it like funny how straight men love lesbian porn? It, it's Wow. This, it's just, it's not speculation. Like that's actually fully what happened. And it's pretty shocking. Wow. All right. In February of 2021, Beck proposed to Amber and the two were engaged. But later that year, on June 29th, 2001, they announced that Beck had dumped Amber. <laughs> Good. Good on Beck. Four months later after the proposal, <laughs> she dumped her. <laughs> In a series of live streams they made together after their breakup, Amber declared that she never loved Beck at all. Shocker. There oh, was a lot. Wow. She just needed a place to stay. There was a lot of bullying. Uh, Beck has opened up to their audience about their depression, anxiety, and the abuse they endured throughout their relationship. Oh, uh, a family that we have made videos on in the past, the Ace family, they got, they're getting a divorce. Really? Yeah. Wow. No surprise to anyone there as well. But all right. Then we're moving on to Amber and Anonymous. In August 2021, while living with Beck, Amber, <laughs> while living with, <laughs> get a line the next one up. Yeah, dude, that's so sad. Amber found a new woman via Instagram and had her immediately move in. Wait, with? With, Beck with, was still living there. With, <laughs> yeah, Beck with was still and living Beck. there. And, oh, um, God. Yeah, just all of a sudden she met this girl on Instagram and had her move in. Didn't even give Beck a chance to get out of the house before she brought a new woman in. Wow. Yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> what a good person. The girlfriend wanted to remain anonymous and never showed her face on camera, but went by the name of Jade Wifey and Feline? Feline. Feline. Yes. <laughs> Amber claimed JWF. <laughs> Is that, is that wifey Jade Wifey Feline? Feline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, j just a little side note. There were multiple times that Amber herself doxed this woman. Um, like she would be doing a live stream and then be like, oh, look, this girl that I'm speaking to was right here in the chat and her name was Jade. Um, and then she would exclusively refer to her as Wifey. At some point, she also said that she was a completely different woman whose name was Alex. This was all later confirmed by herself to be completely false. It is the same woman, <laughs> Jade, Wifey, <laughs> Feline, and Alex. Just synced it down to JWF. It's the same woman every time. Maybe a paid actor. I don't know. You know, just like, always have to have someone there. <laughs> Amber claimed JWF cared more, uh, cared about her more than any partner ever did before. Maybe because they were like silent. It wasn't about them. You know, <laughs> it's all about Amber. She was, uh, she was ready to enter a new era of health. With her athletic girlfriend by her side. Really? Oh. Okay. Is the athletic girlfriend? Oh, yes. Very athletic. This did not last long. Amber began at 2022 at 500, excuse me, at five pounds. <clears throat> In May, Amber claimed she was, con she was contacted by the FBI due to her negative community feedback. 
the FBI had to get involved on this. <laughs> she was, what? She was given the personal number of Frank, who complimented her on her YouTube following and told her to keep in touch in case anyone bullied her. <laughs> so she <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> and so she pulled out the. You guys better be nice to me, or Frank with the FBI is going to get you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You guys can't. <laughs> Say mean things on the internet. That's illegal. <laughs> right from the FBI, <laughs> reached out to me. <laughs> <laughs> I better watch out. You know, one of these calls I get to be from Frank. He's like, "Hey, I heard, heard you were being mean to Amber." Then I'm J- I'm JWF, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's dumb. All right. <clears throat> Amber, Amber enrolled herself into an outpatient program for eating disorders, and her audience was thrilled. Finally, professional help. Hooray. Hooray. She's finally admitted she doesn't know more than everyone else because she's lost 89 pounds eight years ago at this point or whatever. Uh, she began taking Ozempic and started steadily losing weight. Not long after she stopped taking it and then confirmed she went off the medication. Why? I guess it's expensive. I mean, um, because of sludge was her claim. Sludge. Yeah, sludge inside of her gallbladder was caused by Ozempic, apparently. Huh. <laughs> sludge. That's the word she used. Sludge in her sludge. gallbladder. Yeah. Is she self-diagnosed on that one too, or did she actually yeah. go to the doctor for that one? Well, let's wow. see. Let me do some little research here. Does Ozempic cause sludge? <laughs> According to medical news, taking it may increase your risk of acute short-term gallbladder disease, which could include gallstones and redness and swelling of your gallbladder. If you show signs of gallbladder disease, contact a doctor. Oh, well, maybe it's maybe, you know, maybe yeah. we'll never know. Is well, the, street, the street term sludge? Sludge. I got the sludge. <laughs> I got the sludge, bro. Unfortunate, because, I mean. She was losing weight. Yeah, I'm sure it was working, too. Yeah. Well, I guess like at this point, everyone's kind of like suspicious. Like, uh, is, did she get off of it because she has a food addiction and she finds joy in eating, and then she wasn't eating, so she didn't have joy, or you know, what was the what was the what was going on there? Oh yeah. Amber herself has claimed multiple times that she believes she will lose viewers if she loses weight, which is an opinion that I really strongly disagree with. I think if she was to like really seek some help, some mental and emotional as well as physical help, and better herself. That would do nothing but build up her audience because unlike Candy or unlike uh, Nick or these other people whose audience want the worst for them, Amber's initial audience really wanted to see personal growth. So even though now we're all a bit jaded, we've all been hurt by behaviors that she's shown to us, everyone still wants Amber to succeed. So I really think her belief of, well, I can't lose weight because I'm going to lose my income is unfounded, just uh, personal opinion. You know, we play devil's advocate and argue the other okay. side. You know, we argue the other side. Okay, I'll, I'll argue the other side just for argument's sake. <laughs> she's right. been she's been doing the same stuff for so long. The current on it, the current audience that she has built is pretty much like watching to find inaccuracies and and, and her just spouting crap. Like I, I think the the people that are there yeah. to support her have probably been drowned out and converted to haters long, long ago. And if she changes now and actually starts being a better person and like losing weight, then uh, then there'll be some fall off. I don't think it'll be like enough to like kill her channel or anything, but I do think that it will drop down and she'll have to rebuild a new audience. Maybe. Well, yeah, she probably yeah. dropped the toxicity part, right? The toxic part of the community. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll, it'll be a good thing still because the the bad yeah. part. I'm not gonna say the bad part because the the audience themselves they're not at fault. They're just reacting oh, yeah, to what sure. she's doing. But uh, the people that are there, they're like, you you know, agging it on uh, and and being negative in the comments will they won't go away. They'll still be hanging around and, you know, hating. It doesn't matter how she could become like the next pope and people still be like, "Eh, but what about this? (laughs) But anyway, that's either one could happen. I don't know. I agree with Mary and I also think that way, too. So if she's watching this and she goes, I knew it, then. Whoops. (laughs) Whoops. <laughs> My bad. On Halloween 2022, Amber went live while under the influence of edibles and was just, in general, incredibly nasty to her audience. So before I continue reading this, I, I, I find that alcohol and, and any, anything, any like... Uh, anything that alters your mind. Yeah, anything that kind of like makes you feel like that just lets what's inside come out more. Like, uh, you know, people, people that are, that drink alcohol and become violent 
already have that violence inside of them, you know? And, oh, they, yeah, and, and they, can, they just, they can uh, hold it back. There's a word I'm looking, I can't think what the word is. That, inhibitions. Yeah, inhibitions, yeah. And so, yeah, she's, she's doing, taking her edibles, she's feeling good, and she's just, just like, you know, F you guys. <laughs> you know, this is how, what I really think. That's why it takes her so long to say anything in her videos, because she's like, yeah. gotta, gotta mask it. <laughs> gotta, <laughs> gotta. <clears throat> she was particularly upset with one of the commentary channels, and when the viewers of the live stream informed her that the commentator had had a heart attack, she said, can't find her sympathy bone and laughed. <laughs> well, you know, that's, yeah. I think a lot of people feel that way towards Amber these days, too. They, we just can't find her sympathy bone anymore. <laughs> after, this, after this, she made a TikTok crying and eating cookies, stating that she was having a relapse to garner sympathy for herself in response to backlash. Really just a slave to, like, the Internet's opinion, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, sad to be like that i mean every every content creator is to an extent like uh like you you make content for like what you think people like want to why they watch you you don't like go and like start a brand new series that has nothing to do with what you're already doing because it, it'll probably do bad uh but hers is like to the extreme level to like this is how i really feel and everybody goes boo and she's like oh i actually feel the other way it's not even like there's no apology it's just like faking it and it's extremely obvious but anyway right Amber began 2023 at 520 pounds. Oh, man. The weight loss journey is just getting exciting at this point. Man, she's killing it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> man, she's only 80 pounds away from having, being, on, uh, being on TLC. <laughs> Yo, for real. There were a few instances throughout the year in which Amber opened packages of snacks that were sent to her P.O. box by her subscribers. <laughs> Benching on the stacks. And then blame the viewers. Oh, another excuse. I opened this. And you guys sent it to me and I just can't help myself. It's in front of me. Good thing I left my P.O. box open so you guys can continue to send me snacks and I can eat them all and then blame you. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. She told them they'd burn in hell <laughs> and that sending her food was the equivalent of sending alcohol to an alcoholic. Well, let's be real. At this point, she's going to get the food no matter what. You'd send it to her for free she, or she'll go buy it. Either one. Right. She told her audience that she had left the outpatient program. Oh, I forgot she was even in it. And will not be getting weight loss surgery. Oh, man. Sad day. Womp womp. Uh, in July 2023, JWF. I forgot about JWF and Amber mutually ended their relationship. Oh, also this lasted from 2021 until 2023, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. And stayed anonymous the ahead. whole time. Yeah. Oh, I got to ask you. I just thought about something. What about... um? Wasn't at one point she was dating someone or trying to date someone, and then they like as soon as they figured out about the audience or something, they just like backed out immediately and were like, "Nope, yeah, this is about to happen." This is about okay. It's about to happen. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Amber told her audience that she had been talking with another girl on Instagram and was planning on moving her in, but then almost immediately after revealed the new girl had cut all contact. Amber regretted the breakup and publicly begged for JFW back. But she wasn't interested. JFW then drove Amber to Oklahoma, dropped her off in a new apartment, and it was officially off the show. Nice. So I was like, no, nope, I don't want you. Try to replace me with your, your new thing. Now you want me back? Wow. No thing. But I, I will drive you somewhere and drop you off. I'll drive you all the way to Oklahoma. From where? I don't really know. <laughs> From Kentucky? Yeah. How far away is that? Probably an eight-hour drive or something. Potentially like a 12 hour, oh, 12 hour drive. Wow. 12 hour drive. Jeez. Mm. I didn't expect that. I was expecting like eight. Depending, I, mean, I don't know. Depending on how fast JFW wants to get get rid of her or JWF. <laughs> <Florida>. <laughs> yeah. Could be quicker yeah. than that. <laughs> <laughs> Amber Lynn alone. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, whenever we did that one thing where she was like boxing everything up and putting off her rocks and talking about her rocks. Was that? When, that what? was for her move to Oklahoma. That was her move to Oklahoma. Okay. All right. <laughs> She had oh, just okay. boxes of boxes of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like whatever she took takes interest in, she just over buys, buys it and just has all this. A yeah, yeah, definitely a consumption issue. Amber Lynn alone. Dun, dun, dun. As of right now, Amber is living alone for the first time in her entire life. She has been drinking in excess and has shown her fridge completely empty, aside from buzz balls, which are pre-mixed cocktails with 20% alcohol. She's told her audience she's been living off food deliveries and the few occasional grocery store trips with her mother, who is also living in Oklahoma. The, the drug problem mom? Yeah, her, her addict Actual, mother. Her addict, oh man. She's in recovery. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that uh, like we, we watch... 
we watched through a thousand pound sisters, right? And uh, like before Tammy finally hits her rock bottom and goes get the help, she's like drinking and doing all that stuff before she has to go to the hospital. And then she finally, maybe maybe Amber is following the same the same life path here. I don't know. She spoke with her audience about her persistence in contacting. WJF, we swapped it up here. Yeah, all right, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Despite the request to not be contacted, she's like, I need you back, please. Amber is now 33, 515 pounds, has chosen to not get her driver's license, and is living in a new area with her only social support being her mother, who is currently in recovery for her own addictions. So her yeah. mom's in recovery and she's just getting alcohol and edibles, and like, yes. and Amber's making her driver home. No way, dude. Okay. All right. Destiny, Beck, and Casey have all come forward within the past few months in live streams and videos to share their stories about the abuse they endured uh, both during and after their relationship with Amber Lynn. So they've all, they've all gotten together and like, man, yeah, she's yeah, awful. the common denominator, Amber Lynn here. Casey was interviewed by YouTuber Mr. Snowflake. The video is on his channel and is almost two hours long. I do suggest watching it if you'd like more insight as to how Amber's frivolous false accusations and abuse deeply affected their life for many, many years after the relationship ended. Dun, dun, dun. And that is it. That's what we got for Amber Lynn. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. You can see uh, from this screenshot, this was a video that at the time of making this, it was pretty recent. Uh, Buzzball taste test. Come to the mall with me and how I feel about Amy and Tammy. Amy, Amy and Tammy Slayton. All, all she is doing is drinking, playing bingo with her mom and bingo nice. yeah, and talking about <laughs> TLC, talking about Amy, Amy and mm -hmm. Tammy like really stole Amber's dream. Uh, although she does love to say she's not big enough for my 600 pound life. She's not big enough to get her own show. She is. There have been people, <laughs> yeah. there have been people in my 600 pound life that are the same size as Amber so there does seem to be some resentment about the fact that Amy and Tammy are now quite beloved by their viewers um, and that Amber is not. So I imagine there's a producer out there somewhere that wants to make a, an Amber Lynn show. I wonder if she's been approached and she like, says she gets approached she, all the time. She says she's been approached. If she doesn't have a show yet, then they, they just. They're, they, they're tired of dealing with her. They're like, they try to make a contract. She's like, well, you know, 10 minutes of her. I feel maybe that this contract's not good enough. And they go, well, don't have one then. And she's like, ah, I'm so jealous. But you know what I, you know what I think will be perfect though, Ken? And right. it's just me. All right. It's just me. Creator clash, baby. We get Amber Lynn. Yeah. Put the gloves on, Amber Lynn. Amy. Let's see what happens. The winner gets the show. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's all the slides we have for Amber Lynn. The next thing we got up is Feudy Beauty Chantel Marie. We'll do that next time. And so, yeah, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say toast to my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Tomorrow's a new day.